Uh, well, for d outdoor storyteller Dan Barth, having a camera with him or a cameraman is really advantageous. <laughs> I've never been able to get this close to a bighorn sheep in Hell's Canyon. Actually, I've never been closer to any wild animal, anywhere, ever, than this ram and his group of ewes, younger rams and lambs. A person could spend years in the wilderness and never get the chance to watch bighorn from this close up. So it was with trepidation, excitement, and a bit of nervousness that Chase Ogden, outdoor storytellers, photojournalist, and I sat near a dirt road among the native scrub brush and grasses in Hell's Canyon to see this. From what we observed, they didn't really care we weren't more than 10 or 15 feet away from them. Yeah, that's correct. We weren't using some wild, sophisticated thousand millimeter lens to get this close. We were right there. The moment lasted just over a half hour. I know from the time code that's on the tape, and in that time, the dominant male ram asserted his authority to the other subordinate rams, walked among his group, tended to his ewes with a gentle rub, pushed the little lambs around, stared us down a few times, but never seemed too threatened, and eventually wandered off, continuing to forage together. So as they decided to move on, we went and found Francis Kassir, an Idaho fish and game wildlife biologist. Yeah, so bighorn sheep are very sociable, very gregarious, and they like to be in flocks or herds. During most of the year, the males and females are in separate groups. And then during the fall, during the breeding season, they come together. And that's really the only time of year that you'll see them consistently together. And as she said, we saw them together, because it's that time of year. Francis went on to tell us that the herd we saw stays in the same area pretty often and seeing those bighorn isn't as rare as Chase and I had thought, which was further evidenced by a sign in the road near where we saw them. So it wasn't that unique of an experience after all. Still, quite a story that I guess nearly anyone could have in Hell's Canyon. For Outdoor Storytellers, I'm Dan Barth, KXLY4.